there you go. Okay? All right. It's just a, a rollover from Badam Mewaza, Badam Guard, into Tate Shogatami or Udigrami. And if you don't get the arm lock, you, you do have stuck in a pin. Okay, guys, we're, we're working off the bottom tonight, and bottom they was of bottom guard. What Derek's going to do is an udigarami, and it's an udigarami rollover, ending up in a very tight variation of a, I guess it'd be a tate shihogatami. Um, we always call it the German pin or the pretzel pin, but because uh, I saw a German do it the first time I ever saw it many years ago. But it's really a kind of variation of, of a, a tate shihogatami with an, an udigarami arm entanglement. So. Watch what he's going to do. He'll, he'll just do it the first couple times and we'll coach you through it real quick here. So go ahead and begin. We'll finish. Good. Okay. So that's what it is. So he's got Mike. He traps that arm and he comes over to the side. This He gets real active here and he, he catches this, okay? Because he's thinking arm lock and roll. Arm lock and roll. And watch, see how he's posted on his elbow. And that's pretty important. He's got a good, good base here. All right. Now what he's going to do, he's going to swing that right leg over and kick it as he sweeps here. Now here's a sweep and here's a kick. And he rolls him over. Notice he's posted on his head here. That's important because he's going to have base here, guys. Okay, that, that udigrami is still being actively done on the bottom there. You can't see it, but it's happening. Now watch what Derek does with his right leg. He kicks over the top, he kicks under Mike's head, and he's got him really trapped tight. Now he's got a really good osaikomi going here, but now he's going to apply pressure on that udigrami and get the tap out. Okay? All right, one more time fast and we'll let the guys drill on. There you go. Okay? All right, it's just a, a rollover from bottom mewaza, bottom guard, into tate shiogatami or udigrami. And if you don't get the arm lock, you, you do have him stuck in a pin. He, yeah. he, he is stuck there. Uh Keep it in a chicken wing position, and it, it'll end up being more of a shoulder lock than it will be an elbow lock. When when you've got his his shoulder pretty much immobilized by the the head behind the the neck and sitting on the top of it, really all you have to do is just kind of lift up the entangling arm. So let's flip you over again real quick. So we're coming through. I'm going to bump him over. Can, can just cut, come on around here, guys, so you can see what he's doing here with his arm. So I don't want his arm way up here when we come out. I still want to keep it in super tight. So I hug it into my chest and chicken wing it all the way through and lead with it. And that way it's the first thing that lands and it starts getting pinned and it stays in that chicken wing, which is important for the finish. And notice also when he does this guys, he's, he's posted on the top of his head as a base. He doesn't roll one side on the shoulder or the other to make it easier on himself. He's posted up there to give himself room to work and also to apply the more pressure with the with the joint lock. Yep. So you can kind of see where the arm is. And all you have to do really is just lift up your elbow and you can see that it's a very quick tap. If you add in just a little bit of pressure with this hand, and it's hard for me to do because I'm normally posting on my head, but if you get the camera over here, you can probably see it. Okay, so it's still on the chicken wing. I'm gonna try and push his wrist through the mat and lift his shoulder up. And because I'm sitting on the top of his shoulder and I'm hooking the back of his shoulder with my foot, it, it's immobilized, so it's got nowhere to go. And that's really all it takes. Don't worry about pushing this behind him or anything like that. Just try and push it through the mat and then just lift up and you'll get the finish. And again, you can either put a hand behind that and then pull it in tight this way and then lift up or put your hand down See, I, I made a fist, guys. You see? Turn it in. Okay. Do it one more time and then we'll finish with it. Then we'll drill. 